and it includes the 200 who were arrested at UCLA. KCAL's Jeff Nguyen is at the Metropolitan Detention Center with a look at the charges and what's next for those taken into custody. Throughout the day, there have been dozens of people outside this jail. We wish we could show it to you, but the folks behind us have decided to block our view. The reason they are here is they want to lend support to the people who have been arrested and then processed. We have reached out to the police department at the University of California to figure out how many people who were arrested were actual students and how many were outsiders, but we are still waiting to hear back. Some arrestees walked out to cheers as they were released from jail. Lawyers from the L.A. County Public Defender's Rapid Response Team were present to document any injuries outside LAPD's Metropolitan and the Sheriff's Twin Tower jails. Police say more than 200 people were arrested after a week-long encampment was cleared out on the UCLA campus. This student says she was inside when police moved in. I saw many of my students being taken by force and being slammed to the ground. And so when it came to my turn, I did put a little force, but at the end of the day, I put my safety first, and so I let them take it. The arrest came a day after a violent night at UCLA in which the chancellor said a group of instigators attacked the encampment. The pro-Palestinian demonstrators say they did not start the violence, but ended up facing police while agitators were not arrested. I don't see anything unlawful about it. I think we were peaceful. We were just practicing our First Amendment. Professor Jessica Levinson teaches constitutional law and the First Amendment at Loyola Law School. Is the freedom of expression absolute? The freedom of expression is not absolute. We dearly protect it, but it has to give way. It has to give way for reasons like public safety. It has to give way when we have to apply criminal laws. We had barricades, we had shields made out of trash cans just to prevent being hit with batons, stuff like that. Um, we were brutalized the night before, and we were scared of that happening again. This student says he was serving as a medic at the encampment when he suffered a concussion the night before at the hands of counter protesters. I was clubbed two times in the head uh, with a wooden two by four beam. Um, I was pepper sprayed to the eyes. The arrestees say the response from the university and police have been disproportionate because of who they saw ending up getting arrested. That difference is quite striking, and it shows where the where the university's values truly apply. Now, while the